Saginaw sees a surge in gun violence, but some residents are doing what they can to make the city a safer place. Thank you for joining us for the news at six. I'm Jason Fielder. Police are working with local leaders to get unwanted guns and ammunition off the streets. TV 5's Raven Blue met with activists to discuss the impact of gun violence. It is a weekend filled with events looking to end violence in the city of Saginaw. Every time I hear a mother cry or a sibling cry, I, I understand what that feels like. We all understand what that feels like. The Saginaw chapter of Parents of Murdered Children held a safe Saginaw summer kickoff today in Borchard Park in downtown Saginaw, aiming to bring awareness to gun violence in the community after a week of shootings that have left several people dead. In lieu of the violence, we um, it seems more apparent now than ever with the, oh man, the insurmountable amounts of shooting. The rally offered resources from domestic violence and child abuse organizations. Speakers spoke about the impact of violence on families and the community, all in an effort to make the community safer over the summer. This rally is one of thousands happening across the country for March for Our Lives. A student-led movement focused on gun violence prevention, pushing for gun control and calling on lawmakers to take action. We all know that, that we are seeing an uptick in gun violence here locally, and obviously we're all aware of what's going on nationally and um, I just think that uh, spreading the word that the police department here in Saginaw has a location that you can drop off anytime at the police department and just bringing awareness to that. Saginaw City Council member Annie Bench took on that call and held a gun and ammunition amnesty day throughout the city offering residents the ability to anonymously drop off unwanted guns and ammo to the police no questions asked at the Central Fire Station and Fordney Park. Um, but I just hope that they, they understand that they, if they have unwanted weapons, you know, the best thing you can do as a responsible gun owner is to secure them. And if they're unwanted weapons, if it's unwanted ammo, the best thing you can do is to turn them over to somebody else who's going to dispose of them safely for you. And the main thing Councilwoman Bench and parents of murdered children want people to do is to think twice before picking up a gun because it will not only change the lives of those involved, but that of everyone's family as well in Saginaw. Raven Blue, WNEM TV 5.